I hope you can find this helpful, especially if you are newly arrived in Japan or planning to live in Japan for a while. Hello, Lisa here, your host from Sumi Channel. One of the first things that non Japanese residents must do on their initial weeks of arrival in Japan is to open a bank account at a Japanese bank. This is because all things money related, from mobile phone carrier subscription, housing rentals to paychecks, are paid by account transfer. Fortunately, opening a bank account in Japan has been relatively easy, but can still be overwhelming due to the many banking options to choose from. Today, I will be explaining several options on opening a bank account in Japan for foreigners, documents you need, introduce foreign friendly banks, and more. So please watch this video until the end. So the question is, why should you open a Japanese bank account? The main benefits that foreigners can get by opening a bank account are 1. To receive your paycheck. When working in Japan, salaries are often paid by bank transfer rather than cash. You will need a bank account in Japan in order for the company to be able to transfer your salary every month. 2. Automatic transfer of utilities payments Having a bank account in Japan is indispensable for living in Japan. Japanese real estate leasing contracts, phone contracts, credit cards, and other utilities would require a Japanese bank account where monthly payments are usually deducted from. 3. Making deposits, withdrawals, bank transfers conveniently anytime and anywhere. Japanese banks are usually open from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. on weekdays, except for national holidays. Automatic teller machines or ATMs are very convenient and available 24 hours all day, all year round, and can be found in every corner. You can make deposits, withdrawals, and bank transfers at a low service fee, provided that you have the same bank with a transfer destination, which is really a great deal. You can also make withdrawals on convenience stores at any time without any worries. 4. You can get a debit card issued with Visa or MasterCard. Some banks issue a cash card that also works as a debit card or provide a separate cash and debit cards. Debit cards offer the convenience of a credit card, like making purchases online, both inside and outside Japan, but transactions are withdrawn directly from your savings account. Debit cards are especially useful to those who are unable to get a credit card in Japan but want the same features of a credit card. It is especially recommended to those who are worried about overspending. Before walking into a bank branch to open an account, it is important to ready all the required documents. Depending on the bank and also your status of living in Japan, some banks may require additional documents, so make sure to confirm before heading over. Here are the documents banks usually require when opening a bank account. There are certain conditions that must be met when opening a bank account as a foreigner. First is that you need to have residency or have been staying or working for at least six months in Japan. Second is that they will ask you to sign with a personal seal, hanko, and must be able to provide your own Japanese mobile number. These conditions may sound like it is difficult to open a bank account, but for as long as you are not on a short-term stay visa, it is not impossible to do so. I will discuss later the top three foreigner-friendly banks that you can try opening with without these restrictions and will not be asked for much documentation. In recent years, online banks like 7Bank, Rakuten Bank, Sony Bank and such have entered the Japanese bank market and have become popular among foreign residents in Japan due to their multilingual support services. If you are new to Japan, I think online banks would be the best option due to their straightforward opening procedures and lower fees. On the other hand, it's better to have an account with a regular bank if you'd be in Japan for a long time. As in some cases, it is not possible to make money transfers to pay for utility payments with online banks. You can open a bank account at the branch that is closest to your home, school, or workplace, and there is a likelihood of being refused to open accounts for outside these proximities. Also, as a general rule, 
Individuals cannot open multiple bank accounts per branch. Other reasons can be due to incomplete documentations or discrepancies like misspelled names and such in the presented documents. Now let me explain the procedures of opening a bank account. There are two ways to open an account. One is by online application and second is by visiting a physical bank branch. For opening an account via online applications, you need to download the bank app from the App Store or Google Play. 7Bank, Sony Bank, etc. apps are in English with easy to understand guides, so don't worry about losing your way. For those with intermediate Japanese kanji skills, you can try opening with mega banks like SMBC, MUFG, Resona, or Mizuho on their official app, downloadable at the App Store or Google Play Store. Simply search for Ginko Koza Kaisetsu and a selection of these banks should come up. If there are no issues with your application, it would take about one to two weeks to receive your cash or ATM card for online application. Some banks also offer additional services like credit card or international bank transfer options in addition to the bank account opening, which you can apply simultaneously. Another way to open an account is by visiting a bank branch. Opening an account through this option takes about 30 minutes to an hour, depending on the bank and how busy they are on the day you visit. And just like in any other bank, you will need to fill out an application form to open your account. Except for Shinsei Bank, all application forms are usually in Japan and may not have an English-speaking staff. If you think this could be a problem, make sure to bring a friend to help you. Lastly, you will need to pick a PIN code for your cash card, which will be sent directly to your address. I will now introduce to you several banks that are preferred among non-Japanese residents. For online banks or banks without any physical branch, I recommend opening with Sony Bank. Opening a Sony Bank account gives you access to English application forms, online banking support, and comes with Sony Bank Wallet. Sony Bank Wallet is an international cash card with Visa debit card function. There are no residence requirements and once application is complete, you will receive your cash card within 10 days. On top of this, you can earn 0.5% cash back on purchases made in Japan, get a 3% discount at Sony stores, and withdraw up to 4 times a month without fees in 90,000 partner ATMs like 7-Eleven ATMs in Japan. Another popular option among foreign residents and that you would most likely hear often is Shinsei Bank. Shinsei Bank is considered to be the bank that foreigners go to for having forms, documents, and websites available in English. On top of that, they also provide English-speaking staff to guide customers whose Japanese level are still not enough. On the downside, in order to open a bank account with Shinsei, however, you will need to have stayed in Japan for at least 6 months and have your own Japanese phone number. You do not need a personal seal and can accept handwritten signature. Finally, the top most preferred bank chosen by almost all foreigners is the Japan Post or Yucho Bank. This is not surprising since Japan Post Bank provides the easiest option for newcomers without the minimum 6 months resident requirement as long as a visa applicant is not on a tourist visa and have at least three months remaining validity. It is a no-frills bank with English, Vietnamese, and Chinese language support, optional personal seal, and can accept handwritten signatures. Lastly, unlike most of the mega Japanese banks, you need not present your own mobile number, but rather your school or workplace contact numbers would be enough. I have summarized all of these features in one page. Please refer to this chart. With the rise of scams that are targeted for the elderly, criminal acts especially with relation to financial services have become even more stricter. I would like to take this chance to inform everyone what is considered to be a criminal offense in Japan, that when formally charged, be subjected to imprisonment deportation by the authorities. 
If you plan to leave Japan permanently and your return date is fixed, you must complete the necessary procedures before leaving Japan, which includes closing your bank accounts. Here are some things to keep in mind when closing your account. Withdrawing funds down to zero yen does not close the account while leaving the account inactive for 5 to 10 years would only make it dormant. Depending on your bank, you must take your residence card, personal seal, passbook, and bank card to your local branch in order to close your account. Your account will be closed and the balance will be given to you in cash on the spot. In case of online banking, you are able to cancel the account either via the website or prepare a document for cancellation. It can take up to two weeks to complete the cancellation of account if you need a document to do so. Remaining balance can be transferred to your requested bank account for an extra charge. It is also possible to leave your bank account open for up to two months after you leave in order to ensure all bill payments are paid. Please note that if fees are left unpaid, your personal information will be stored in the credit information agency as a non-payment and be denied of any future credit cards, mortgages, and mobile phones application in Japan. And that's it for our video topic today about opening a bank account in Japan for foreigners. I hope you can find this helpful, especially if you are newly arrived in Japan or planning to live in Japan for a while. I would love to hear other bank recommendations, great service experiences, or banks we should avoid. Please share on the comment section below. Thank you for watching until the end. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel as we find more ways to make foreigners' living easier. Until our next video, bye bye!